Good morning. So today, I will be discussing to you the module 1 and module 2 of our subject, Environmental Science. So first, uh, with regards to the first module, uh, I would like to discuss to you the definition of environment, environmental science, as well as the components of the environment. So. So today, um, we have experienced a lot of problems that involves environment. So uh, first is climate change. What else? Um, the pandemic, which uh, is related as well with how we treat the environment because um, nalaman natin na ang cause or the root of this problem is from the animals, isn't it? So, yon. It is very important that we need to be educated on how to protect the environment as well as to prom promote environmental sustainability. Okay? So, first, let's now define what is an environment so environment is the total of our surroundings so all the things around us with which we interact so what are the things around us uh, uh, around us that we interact so there so what are those considered living things so napaka ano na yan, napakadali it is very understandable so living things are the animals plants, forests, fungi, bacteria, viruses around us are considered as living things. While non-living things are those uh, continents, oceans, clouds, what else? Soil, rocks, the chair, the tables. Those are considered as the non-living things. So next is in your module, it defines, the environment defines as the integration of all conditions that influence the life of an individual or a population. It includes all matters and processes they undergo and their uniqueness is a specific time and a space. Okay? So... That is the definition of environment. So next is human and environment. So there is a relationship between human and environment. Human exists within the environments and are part of nature. So there is a relationship between human and environment so our survival depends on a healthy and functioning planet so um our survival depends on how we protect the environment let's put in our mind that the environment has a significant role with our survival so can you imagine can you survive without or without a clean air or can you survive in a polluted environment divine di can you survive in a very hot environment diba hindi okay so it all depends on how healthy the planet or the earth is for us to survive we are because we are a part of the natural world okay that is the relationship of human and environment next is so next is environmental science so environmental science is the study of the interaction between humans 
with the natural environment so uh it is the study of how we live our life in our in the earth or in our natural environment okay it is an interdisciplinary field of science that draws from many sciences so what are the different sciences sciences so first is chemistry so is this the study of interaction um, or a study of identifying substances of which matter is composed next is physics is study of matter okay what else zoology is study of animals botany is study of plants and other sciences so it focuses on three main areas so please write it down as an addendum in your module so first is conservation and protection of natural resources so um this subject teach you how to conserve and how to preserve how to protect our natural environment or our natural resources next is environmental education and communication for us to know how important is the environment in our living okay for not for us to have an in-depth understanding of what is the importance of the environment as well as environmental communication what does it mean by that for us to share our thoughts our knowledge and how to protect our environment to other people next is environmental research so gagawa tayo ng mga research we're in we can we could uh that uh we're in it could be a good help uh for the government or even um in our community to protect and preserve the environment so what are the importance of environmental science first is to realize that environmental problem is global environmental problem is global hindi lang tayo okay it is global hindi lang sa pilipinas it is not in just in your barangay it is not just in the philippines but it is a global problem okay sa isang pag pag if you burn plastics um that has a global effect in our environment so it recognizes environmental problem such as what climate change global warming ozone layer depletion and acid rains okay so to understand next is to understand the impact of development on the environment the third one to discover sustainable ways of living so more ways to utilize it 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 teaches us, us it teaches us how to do more ways to utilize present resources in a manner that it conserves our natural resources that is why recycling is very important okay kasi can you imagine na putol tayo ng putol ng kahoy okay every time na 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 uubusan tayo puputol ulit ng kahoy di ba so it is very important that we need to do or to uh, utilize our resources effectively okay and number four is to utilize natural this is what i am telling to you that utilize natural resources efficiently so adding value to our resources and thorough training and human 
resources. So let's go to Okay, so I'll be now I'll now be discussing to you the components of the environment. So what are the components of the environment? So first is the the uh, environment is composed of four components, namely first is matter. So matter refers to anything that has the property of occupying space and attributes of gravity and inertia. So it sets their attributes of gravity. So it is the universal force of attraction. That is the reason why we uh, we are not flying, okay? Because of the gravity. So do you know the reason why? The reason why there is a high tide and low tide because of the gravitational. So the reason why there is a high tide and low tide. So uh, if this is the earth, then this is the moon. Then uh, at the back of the moon, uh, you can find the sun. So the tendency is there, there is a high tide because there will be a combination of the two force between the, the two gravitational force of the sun and the moon okay then pag nandito na sa likod yung moon then that will be the time that there will be a low tide okay inertia inertia is the state of rest okay uh, according to physics that is the state of rest so matter is an is any substance that has mass and takes up space by having a volume actually there are five states of matter so kindly uh chat it down okay or write it down in your uh module so first uh first of the five st states of matter is solid so solid is has a definite shape mass and volume liquid the second one is liquid so liquid has indefinite shape okay so indefinite shape for the reason that if you pour uh, pour the water in a in a container uh, it follows the shape of the, the the water follows the shape of the container so next is gases no definite shape or volume next is plasma it is the most Though it's rarely seen or it is not very common in the earth, it is the most common state of matter in the universe. Ne next is the Bayes-Einstein condensate or the BEC. So it was created in the year 1995. It uses to simulate condition that might exist in the black hole. That is matter. So, sabi niya dito, some we perceive most of the time while some are now rarely seen. To find a flower of Raflesia, Raflesia is the, the biggest flower in the earth, is already rare experience. It's the biggest flower in the, in the earth that is uh, only seen in the Philippines. Okay? Next is processes so each matter has its own distinct physical chemical and perhaps biological properties the course action that in uh, it undergoes depends on its properties like for example um, growing a plant it is uh, in growing and for for the plant to grow it requires a process which what which we called photosynthesis because the plant requires water and light for its survival okay uh, aside from the photosynthesis that helps the plant to grow is uh, the process in which how a rock is being Form. Okay, so first is there is a sediments, yung mga uh, maliliit or mga butil-butil ng 
bato. That is what we call sediments. Due to compaction and cementation, nagiging sedimentary rock ang mga ito. Okay. Then after naging after sedimentary rock because of the heat and pressure created uh, by the earth, nagiging metamorphic rock itong sedimentary rock. Okay? Then when it is melted, nagiging melt na pag na melt na itong metamorphic rock, then it became now magma. Ito na yung lumalabas sa mga bulkan na umaapoy. Okay? Umaapoy or nagbabagang mga bato. Then, if it is already cold, okay, lumabas na yung bato uh, from the volcano, then, it after it is cooled down, nagiging igneous rock ito. Then, after weathering, tumatagal and nag-erosion, then, it became again a sedimentary or nagiging sediments na naman ito. Okay? Until babalik na naman siya sa process. Okay? Next is time. Every moment that passes by is part of the time history of the environment. Time is usually measured in physics by seconds, minutes, or even an hour. So, for example, a farmer uses season to express time to harvest. For a child, the most joyful time is Christmas. For us, teachers and students, the most joyful time is summer break. Isn't it? Because wala tayong ginagawa. We have, uh, we, that is the time for us to have a bit of rest. So like their habitat, plants and animal displays, no common patterns of activity, animals are either nocturnal, nocturnal meaning nighttime animals, who are considered nighttime animals, bats, what else? Owl. Mm. Sino pa? Uh, may mga isda rin na mas nabubuhay ng gabi. Or diurnal or daytime animals. So, sabi ko kanina, owls forage actively at night and rest at daytime. While humans uses daylight for our Activities. So, night naman tayo that we have rest. That's okay. Number four is space. An individual or population always seek and stays in an area that supports life. This space includes the things that surrounds him. It could be in land, water, or air. The spatial environment of a living organism influences so much different processes that an individual or community could carry on. It. This is um, napaka importante ang halimbawa nito is yung habitat natin. Okay? For example, we human being, can we, uh, we are uh, tayong mga nasanay na sa urban places. Okay? Can, there is a bit or hard adjustment for us if we um, immediately reside in, an, in a rural place. Okay? Or mga animals. Can you um, can you imagine a camel in which its original habitat is in a desert? Then, ilalagay mo siya sa sa forest mabubuhay kaya siya okay so yun uh, it is very, uh, space is very important for our survival okay hindi abruptly or hindi agad-agad kaya it is very important that we need to respect the space of this animal okay for their survival Survival. Okay, thank you. That is the end of the lecture number one. So I'll be sending.